Hi guys, and welcome back to Ray's Rails. I had a surprise phone call last week. My cousin knows I collect trains, and she had a friend on Facebook who was looking forward to getting rid of this um, box of, um, I believe it's um, Plasticville uh, model train parts and a few other um, uh, odd accessories. So the other day she dropped it off at my house, and uh, this is actually the first time I'm looking at it. So I'm looking forward to seeing what's in it, and um, seeing how that goes. So the first thing you can see is uh, the outside of the box is a village on it. I noticed the box had a 30-year-old um, shipping label on it. So uh, that tells you one thing that might, what might be inside of the box. So yeah, let's take a look and uh, see what we have here. Looks like we have some uh, plastic bill parts. That's a good start. And I see there is, um, let's see what this is. I never saw this before, radio train station. Oh, I wonder what this is, who made this. I'm not even really sure. Maybe this is Marks. Oh, yeah, it is a Marks. All right, good. I'll have to look at that up and see what this does. Oh, pretty neat. All right. Can't look, it even has the wire to it. Pretty dried out, but that'll be pretty interesting. Cool. And we have here, let's see, it says uh, Chicks and Rabbits. I'm not sure what's in here. Oh, cool. Looks like some more Plasticville parts. Looks like we have an, a line out cabin, maybe a schoolyard. Oh, cool, we got a loading dock here. Uh, I'm not sure which part that goes on, but we'll find something to uh, make that work. Oh, the supermarket, that's pretty neat. Looks like here's another part of the inside of a cabin. These parts are not glued together yet, but we'll make them work. And yeah, maybe we have the... Uh, Oh, Plasticville Station. Oh, oh, and it looks like a bank, maybe. Cool. Oh, it looks in real nice shape, and it's nice and clean. Looks like we have a church tower here. That's pretty interesting. Oh, maybe part of a parking lot here. We'll take a look at that. Cool. That's all very nice. Oh, that's not, not a problem. We'll put that back together. That was an interesting box. All right, let's see. Oh, we got... The hospitality kit here. Oh my gosh, look at what a great shape that box is in. I'm going to trip to Disneyland. Huh, I wonder when I have to, um, wonder when that contest ended. Probably about 30 years ago. Let's take a look in this box. Oh, cool. What did it say on top? Oh, good. I guess it is the hospital. It looks to be the hospital. Got all the doors on it and stuff. Really nice condition. Super clean. You could tell this was never really taken out of the box and the box has been closed for the last 30 years. That's a pretty good treasure. We'll put that on the side here. Let's see what else here. It looks like we have a Colonial Church. 1803 looks like it was starting to be built. Doesn't actually look like the church is going to be in here. You could tell how the dry this rubber band is. Let's give this box a look at. And it looks like it's going to be, um, looks kind of like a, uh, some kind of a house. But we also have the instructions in here. It looks like, oh yeah, that looks like the instruction sheet for this, for this um, New England house. So that's pretty cool. It was just put in the wrong box. We'll move that off to the side here too. Let's see what else here. This looks like um, the fire hall. I remember seeing this roof at one time, but it, it's in the box for the schoolhouse. Yep, the fire hall. I remember this one as a kid. That's when I actually had on the layout when I was a young kid. They have a small swing set in there. That's pretty neat. Never saw that before. Definitely put that somewhere on the layout. There's a few other uh, small uh, details in here. Oh, look. And there's also a um, the little gate for a crossing. That's really neat. Let's see what else we have here. Oh boy, there's a big box on the bottom. That looks really promising also. We have uh, Plasticville people. Wow, look at that. Looks like someone started to paint them at one time. I'll have to finish that up. We have the mailman, uh, milk delivery man, a couple guys sitting on benches. The little benches. Wow, that's in really nice shape. With the instructions, that's a good little find. Look, there's even a paper towel in there from 30 years ago. All right, I'll put that on the side. What else is in here? I need to move this piece of cardboard. Put that out of the way. And we have, um, 
one more box here, Plasticville USA. Oh, I really hope that swimming pool is in there. That's something I've been kind of looking for. I see that on eBay once in a while, and I always think that's pretty neat, the in-ground pool that it lays on top of the layout. So in here, you see we have uh, more small pieces. Oh, yeah, great. Here is the little swimming pool. I always thought that was a, a fun model to um, have on a layout. It has a lot of interest. I got a little diving board. Boy, that's pretty neat. Wow. A couple more little pieces. The umbrella probably for this um, outside uh, table. So, wow, that's really cool. Don't want to damage these boxes. There's the box on the top on that. That's really neat. And we have another great box here. Uh, Plasticville USA Roro unit. Let's see if there's a barn in there. That looks pretty cool. I could tell that looks like the house that was in the other box. That bridge I saw many times. I wonder if that's in there. Some farm animals would be great too. Could always use those. Oh, cool. Wow, look at those trees. Pretty cool. They have the little trees. Plastic trees. There's a whole bag of cars in here. Never saw those before. Now these are some bushes. I never saw these bushes before. They even have the roots on the bottom. That's really cool looking. And we have some more plastic trees, so that's really a great find, and that's the top of the box here we have it. And below that, let's see, we have a bag here, a mystery bag. Oh, let's see what's in here. Hmm, that's interesting. Wow, we have some lead toys in here. That's a neat little find. Wow, great. See who are these are made by. I'm not really sure. Um have to take a better look at that but you can see they're already painted they look to be all lead have a few lead bases a couple more lead people a couple we have a wheelbarrow in there boy these are really beautiful oh look we have in the other one so now i can make a crossing have one for each side of the street another little guy that's pretty cool. That was in this little blue bag that's in here. Then we have, uh, looks like another small box. We have a uh, house and a couple uh, small cars. That's pretty neat. Very cool. And we have um, Plasticville Fire, Fire Department. Interesting. I thought that was going to be the jail. You can see the box. There's the um, win a trip to Disneyland once again. Details inside it looks like. I have to take a look at that. Yeah, this looks like to be the the fire department. Oh my gosh, it even has a fire truck. I had this fire department, never knew that it came with a truck. That's very interesting. Here's an old rubber band. Wow, that's great. I'm going to have to check that out better. I'll put this back in the box to make some more room. Looks like we have an old piece of newspaper. Boy, it looks like we could get a suit for uh, 44 hours. Those were the days. It's from 1964. Wow. All right, and we have one larger box here. I don't, I'm actually just going to open this one on the side here. Custard stand and radio station. And, wow, that looks pretty good. Very nice. Everything's still in the plastic bags. Buildings are nice and clean. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. Wow, so this was, um, this was a great find. I'm glad... Um, Somebody remembered that I collect um, Lino trains and um, somebody was going to get rid of it. So as you can see, um, this is what I got when my um, cousin uh, gave me a call that she found some stuff on that was being given away on Facebook and um, she remembered that I collect trains. So I'm going to have a great time with this. Um, I do a little inventory check on it, sort it out, see what years it came from and um, see how we can put it, put it together. But this looks like a great find. All right, guys, I'm going to have a great time with this. Uh, Thanks a lot for watching Raise Rails, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.